Hello, this is Candy from eyes2jesus.blogspot.com bringing you my July planner setup. So what planner am I currently in for the month of July? Well, as you know, last month uh, and for a little while I was in a uh, personal size slash portable slash compact size planner. Um, but if you've followed uh, my YouTube or especially if you've read my blog for years, then you know that July tends to be my very, very busy month. And this has been a very, a very busy July and it looks like it's not going to be slowing down anytime soon. So I decided I'm going to need two pages per day and I'm going to need them in a bigger size. So I had some fun and moved back into a desk size, which is the same as a classic size, which is comparable to an A5 size. So which desk size planner am I in? It is a day timer and it is a Malibu. It's teal. I am in a teal genuine leather desk size day timer Malibu. And I love teal colored planners. I like blue colored planners in general, but I think teal uh, is my second favorite color. Um, it's just, it's really pretty. So I'm in my teal desk size day timer Malibu. Uh, these originally come with one inch rings. Uh, my husband upgraded this for me to inch and a quarter size rings. Uh, there's two different methods that I have seen in Facebook groups and uh, various places online on how you can change out rings in a daytime or Malibu. My husband has another way and I really like the way that he did it. So uh, I will show you how we did that in the next video I upload in a day or two uh, where I filmed my husband getting the one inch rings out of here and putting in the inch and a quarter rings. And now my rings are interchangeable. So I can go ahead and bring it up to an inch and a half if I want or I can bring it down to an inch and an eighth but I like inch and a quarter. Uh, if you do, by the way, do inch and a half, it will mess with your pen loops. You may not be able to use them. Inch and a quarter, I'm able to use my pen loops absolutely just fine. So an inch and a quarter just seems to be a perfect fit for me these days. All right, so going into my planner tour, opening it up. Here's what it looks like when you first open it up. Alright, and then what we got is, of course, you see we got two pen loops, okay? Uh, this pen loop is a double-tipped Sharpie blue, and then this pen loop is a um, Pilot Precise V5 pen in the .5. Um, it writes very similar to um, the Uniball Vision Elite. Uh, the ink comes out and writes very smoothly, but... Uh, it just writes, as the name says, more precisely. And I love these pens, so I'm having a lot of fun with these. So I actually uh, left the Uniball and went for the Pilot Precise V5, and it's, it's fabulous. It's just doing everything I want in a pen. All right, and then we have this nice big side pocket here, and I just got various papers, some functional planning stickers, and uh, a coupon in there. And then this zipper pocket, this is where when I have some planner money or whatever, I just stick it in the zipper pocket. And then this flat pocket here, that's all I got in there right now, is my uh, card of washi tape, all right, so that it's easy to get to. All right, in the view pocket, I got uh, a Project Life card. That's really pretty. And then up here, held on with these arrow paper clips, is another Project Life card. It says, Time for Adventure. And then in this pocket up here is a Project Life card, and behind that Project Life card, I keep um, whole reinforcement stickers in case any of my pages rip out, Avery dots, and Avery labels. And I write on the dots and labels with my Sharpie because it doesn't smear and it shows up well, and it works nice on labels and washi. Um, and then this pocket here is some taller, Target Dollar Spot page flags, and this is a Target Dollar Spot uh, sticky notepad. I love the Target Dollar Spot. You're going to see a lot of Target Dollar Spot stuff in here because I, I just love, love the planner stuff at the Target Dollar Spot. This is a Franklin Covey front page lifter. I just got it decorated. I got like various little pretties on here and some more um, Project Life uh, journaling cards. And on the back of the page lifter is a journaling card that I have taped on. It has my contact information here, so if my planner were to get lost, then this gives the information on uh, how to return it to me. And this page right here is this one, those Franklin Covey um, 
you know, it closes like a Ziploc baggie, you know, clear pockets. And I have my family picture in here. And then on the other side, it's a picture of my husband and I. And then this is my dashboard. The dashboard is just laminated scrapbook paper. And let's see, these two are target dollar spot. These page flags are target dollar spot. And I think these three, I think, are all Hobby Lobby, probably um, Happy Planner. And then on the other side of my dashboard, I've got these sticky to-do lists. These, these things, they're 97 cents at Walmart. So I'm, they're just totally, totally useful. All right, and then here is the Prairie Muffin Manifesto from Buried Treasure Books. I really, I just love it. I like to keep it in my planners when I can. And since this is a, a planner, a desk size planner, it takes half sheet U.S. paper. So, for example, when printing out the Prairie Muffin Manifesto, which, is, which can be several pages long, depends on your font size, um, I just told my printer to print it out as a booklet. Then I take it out of the printer, just fold it all in half, and then I punched it and put it in here. So it's in here like a booklet. See, so that's something if you have this size planner, if you have a lot of information you want to print out and put in, you can just print out like a booklet and then stick it in like that. All right, and then next, this is some Target Dollar Spot note paper, and I just keep my running uh, grocery list here. And, and then I just keep these papers, I keep several up here, I keep them all together with a magnetic uh, bookmark. And I have a little flag on there that sticks up. That is so, um, if I just open my planner and I want to go straight to my list, like maybe I need to write something down on the list, then I just go to that flag and I flip right to it. And these pages, by the way, I have the holes slit. So they just uh, pop in and out of the rings without me having to open the rings. So that when I need to take a piece of paper out or whatever, I can. Um, and this is handy because when I make my official grocery list, I will uh, take this piece of paper out and I'll bring it into my section where I have my meal plans. And then I'll just set it next to my meal plans and then it helps me write my grocery list. And then when I'm ready, when my grocery list is done, I can just pop it back in the rings with the slit holes without having to open the rings and I'm ready to go. And when, then when that piece of paper is filled up on both sides and everything's crossed out, I just roop it off and throw it away. So that's how I've been doing that. Okay, now we come to my dividers. I have six main dividers. Okay, and they are routine, school, budget, information, contacts, and calendar. And uh, if you're a fan of the Target Dollar Spot, these dividers will look familiar. These are Target Dollar Spot planner dividers. Now, their, um, their planner dividers come for uh, mini three ring binders. So three of the holes will already fit. You just got to put in the other four holes to fit a seven ring binder. All right, so it's really quick. And then what I did was it's a six divider set. As I washi taped on a journaling card on each divider, I stuck on a label that I got from a Carpe Diem label set, and then I laminated them, and then I punched through the laminate and made sure I had all seven holes. So this is my routine divider. All right, and then going inside routine, I've got my goals. So that's the first page. The next page is my schedule. And then the next page is my daily chores. And I just have two flags, one flag on this side and then I stuck another flag on the uh, other side. And this works almost like a little top tab. So if I just need to go in here and see what my chores are for the day, I just need to find this at the top. So I just open my planner, I find this at the top, and I can just flip right to it. So these are my daily chores. Mostly cleaning, but not all. There's a few um, other things in there besides cleaning, but it's, it is mostly cleaning. Um, and then the next page are my children's chores. And then there's my children's table chores for them to help clean up after a meal, after each meal. Right, and then I have my cleaning, a deep cleaning and projects list. And then over here is my emergency quick clean. Um, you can uh, print off my emergency quick clean from my blog at eyes2jesus.blogspot.com. It is in the left sidebar. And this is my master grocery list. And my master grocery list, I have a little tab on it. Because again, if I just want to turn... Because on the other side of my master grocery list is my menu plan for the week. So if I just want to open this up and I just want to find my menu plan, then I can just, I open up the routine section and I see that green tab 
and it flips me right to my master grocery list. So I know if I flip one more page, I'm at my suppers menu. All right, so I make my suppers menu each week. I write it out. I use um, a post-it arrow flag just to keep my place. Even though I assign a supper for each day, they might get swapped around. So, um, for example, um, we ate out the other day, so uh, we're going to have Sunday's planned supper for Monday. So I have the flag on Sunday, uh, but Sunday for Monday. So... You know, I'll sign them each day, but they don't have to be on that specific day. The next page are breakfasts, and these are printed out because right now these are, we do the same type of breakfast depending on what day of the week it is. And when we get tired of those, then I'll set up a new breakfast rotation. All right, and then I do the same thing with our lunches, okay? And then this is a list of 23 supper ideas, and this is a list I go through when I'm planning my suppers for the week. And I also include side dishes on that too, the main dishes and the side dishes that I like to have with the main dish. So it makes menu planning each week really easy and nice and quick. Okay, the next section also has this little side flag tab, and this leads to my recipes section. And the, on the rest of, my, of this routines or homemaking section are our recipes. So turning past those, we get to my next section, which is labeled school. Okay, and I am a homeschool mother, so I keep some of our homeschool stuff in this section. Um, we have our homeschool curriculum chart. And we got our homeschool schedule. We got what we're focusing on, on what days and what our focuses are at the time for homeschool. We got copy work assignments and reading lists and blank paper for notes. So it's nice and simple. This is a system I've been doing for years and it really works for me. Okay, the next divider is called budget. All right, and I'm not gonna be able to show you a whole lot of budget, but the first thing inside budget is um, this top loading pocket page that I made a few years ago. I just made it with some vellum paper and my laminator and it opens up at the top. And then I stick bills in here that are waiting to be paid. And I have some bills in here right now that are waiting to be paid. So I just have this piece of paper here to anonymize it. All right, and then after that, I just have notebook paper that I keep in my planner. Um, so I'm not gonna show you any of my budgeting pages, but I'm just using Target Dollar Spot Notes paper. All right, and then uh, I just write down, I look at, I also have a budget guide in this section that I didn't show you, it's paper clipped inside these pages. And it says what bills and what expenses, um, excuse me, my ears plugged up. Uh, what bills and what expenses we do on uh, which paycheck. So then I would write down the date, and this, and this Target Dollar Spot note paper comes with the date line. So I'd write down the date, and then I would just write down a list of the expenses that we always get on that check. Then I would check my calendar to look at what's coming up during the time when we're on that paycheck that we're going to need more money for. And then I write those down here too. And then that's how I go over and maintain the budget. All right, so yes, next divider is called information. And just like it says, inside information is information. Uh, the first page is for a project, so that is some data that I am tracking. The next page is a table of contents, uh, and then the pages after this are numbered. So, um, instead of having an ABC file system, I just, inside my information section, I uh, have numbered pages and I keep a table of contents. So the information I have in here are gift ideas, YouTube ideas, blog and website ideas, around the house, kids grocery week checklist, stock list, quick contacts, perpetual calendar, family information, and then I also have an earthquake map for the state in the area in which we live, and I have a printout of the homeschool laws for the state in which we live. And then inside my notes section, I have a little flag that sticks out. If I turn to that flag, it brings me to my brain dump. And so this is just my brain dump paper, and then I have a whole bunch of blank note paper. So that's for more brain dumping, or if I need more paper in the front for grocery lists, or I need more paper in the budget section for budgeting, I just grab it from here. And then when I run out of paper in here, then I know to put my paper in here. So this is also where I keep extra filler paper, basically. All right, and then the next divide after that is called contacts. And I'm not going to show you uh, much inside contacts. Um, I have the first few pages are directions how to get to some places, and then I have... Um, 
phone and address pages with context. So I'll show you the back of the last page because there's nothing written on the back of it. Um, I'm using these pages. These are uh, day timer. I think it's their breast cancer awareness contact pages. And I love the pink. It's really cute. Okay, and then my last main divider is calendar. And inside calendar, the first thing we come to are target dollar spot to-do lists. All right, and here, let me uh, show you a blank one. So this is just from a list pad I got from the Target Dollar Spot, and that's all I did is I took some papers off the list pad and I just punched them and popped them in. And so then I will keep running to-do lists in here, or if I need to have a specific to-do list, like for planning um, a party where I'm going to have a long list of things to do, then uh, I'll make it a specific to-do list and then I'll just move it to wherever in my planner I need it, which would probably be for whichever day um, I would need it. So I keep my to-do list papers here. All right, and then I have a Franklin Covey year at a glance for the years 2016 to 2021. Okay, and then after that, uh, we get into my calendar inserts, and I have been using um, Franklin Covey blooms. So I have the blooms month on two pages all up front here. So this is July. So I popped to July. Then there's my July so far. All right, and then um, and then I have Dan two pages blooms, and I only keep uh, one month's worth at a time of Dan two pages. So right now I have all twelve months for month on two pages. But Dan, two pages I just have just for July. And then when July is wrapping up, then I'll move in August. And that really works well for me. So I turn to my today uh, bookmark. And here is today. And this is Sunday, so I don't have a whole lot on there. And then my page finder. It's just a Franklin Covey page finder. And I have some flags on it, which is just my top five to-dos to do each day. And it's just, I like having them on my page finder on flags to remind me. And those are Bible study, meals, exercise, homeschool, and house tidy. All right. And then on the other side of my page finder, which is popped in out a bit. The other side of my page finder is my master to-do list. And this is uh, laminated, double-sided, and it's slit. So it just pops in and out of the rings like the page finder. So every day... I will take out my page finder and my to-do list and move it to the next day. All right, and then uh, the second page on day in two pages is notes. And this being a Sunday, I don't have a whole lot of notes, but on weekdays, uh, it gets pretty filled up. And, and a lot of people ask, well, what do you do with the notes pages? Um, typically what I do is I will look up my in my menu plans for what meals I'm planning for that day, and I always plan the next day right before I go to bed. All right, and then I'll write down the meals here, all right? And then I'll write down any cleaning chores that I'm going to do. And then if I'm going to be having the kids doing different cleaning chores than what I have assigned, or if I don't want to flip through my planner to find it, then I also write down the kids' cleaning chores. And then on the bottom, I sometimes track my meals and my water because I want to make sure that I am taking care of my body as it is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay, let me turn to a blank Dan two pages. Here's a blank one so you can see what they look like. And I am loving it. By the way, I've been looking lately because I'm trying to consider what inserts I want for 2018. Um, so I've been starting to look at the Dan two page inserts in Franklin Covey, Day Timer, and Day Runner. And so far what I'm seeing, the Franklin Covey ones tend to be the cheapest right now. And in my opinion, they're the highest quality. So I just thought that was interesting. I would really like the Flora Day and Two Page inserts for 2018. I don't know if they're going to be available. Um, if not, they redid blooms or redesigned them. I might go for that or I might go for something else. So I'll need to wait until we get probably around to October or so before I can start really seeing my options because there's not much 2018 inserts out yet. But yeah, if you're looking for a very high quality, pretty, functional, and not too expensive uh, inserts, you might want to check out uh, franklinplanner.com. Franklinplanner.com. Okay, after my day on two pages, I have just a note page that I call Future Planning 2018 Plus. And I do have some future planning there. So, um, so I'm going to be like, for example, some dentist appointments as we're in the second half of the year. Some dentist appointments will soon start showing up inside future planning. Um, 
There's some driver's licenses and tags that need to be renewed, etc. So I write them there. So, you know, whenever you renew your driver's license, uh, write down in your future planning page when that expires so that, uh, and then always transfer it in your calendar each year so that uh, you're going to always be able to renew your driver's license and you're not going to go through a hassle. I mean, where I live, uh, if your license expires, you may actually have to retake the driver's test again. And I'd <laughs> like to just go down and get my license renewed and not have to jump through hoops. All right. Um, also, tags on your vehicles. When you get the new tags on your license plates, you know, uh, write down the expiration date. Keep it in your planner so that way when you see when you get near expiration time for your tags, go down and get that taken care of. So a planner, it's your brain in a book. When you think of something, write it down. When there's something, it's like, oh, I need to do that someday. Pick that someday and write it down and just get it done. Okay, the next thing... Um, after my future planning page is this another one of the zipper pockets like I have in the front and this one I just have doodads in there. I got a receipt in there right now, um, extra magnetic bookmarks and some extra paper clips. And then I got my back page lifter Franklin Covey with some extra flags and I got four flags in here that written in permanent marker. Um, one says crock pot, one says store, one says trash, and one says oven. So for example, if uh, I'm going to do an all day slow cooker meal for supper, I'll prepare it the night before and I'll pop the crock pot in the fridge and then I'll take my crock pot label and stick it at the top of my master to-do list because that's the first thing I look at in the mornings for my morning routine. So open it up, it says crock pot. That reminds me, because in the mornings my brain, <laughs> it wakes up later than I do, it reminds me, oh I need to get the crock pot out of the fridge, set it up and get it cooking on low. Uh, store would be, I would stick it just anywhere, you know, uh, where I need to go to the store. I'll just stick it anywhere where I'm going to do that, wherever I'm going to do that on my master to-do list, which is my schedule. Trash is, I stick it up in the morning, trash day, get that trash outside. And then oven is um, if I pre-made a breakfast that just needs to go in the oven and bake the next day, then I'll have that over my morning routine to remind me, get breakfast baking in the oven while you do your morning routine and get laundry started and all that fun stuff. All right, so back pockets. I just have a, a Franklin Covey notepad back here. This paper just this, it just comes in handy so often. All right, and then I don't have anything behind it right now. Uh, and then these two small pockets underneath, I just have some uh, post-it pattern flags and post-it arrow flags and a little six-inch ruler. So, yes, I love the Malibu. I was having trouble getting comfortable in which um, desk size or classic size binder I wanted to use because... I wanted to use the Malibu, but uh, I, I just couldn't make one inch rings work. I needed an inch and a quarter, and an inch and a quarter um, just makes it. I'm at the top of my rings, but I'm not stressing them. I'm not pulling gaps on them. My pages open and they turn easily, and everything lays flat. So I'm at capacity. I could, of course, give or take, you know, I could probably add another 10 or so pages or whatever, but this is all I need in my planner. If I do need more, uh, I can upgrade to inch and a half, which I have done before in a desk size Malibu. I just uh, would have to hook my pens on the outsides of the pen loops, because once you hit inch and a half rings, your pen loops get interfered with. But uh, yes, um, the next video I plan on putting up after this one is me showing you an, another method on how to upgrade the Malibu rings, okay? Uh, the common method that I've seen a lot is um, you have to take off the rivets because they're riveted in, all right, and then you take off the ring, and then you have to get a sacrificial Franklin Covey binder with the ring size you want that has removable rings. You uh, take off the rings on that, you rip open that binder and pull out the cardboard spine that has the posts in it, and then you cut open the bottom of your Malibu, and you pull out the cardboard spine and its uh, rivet posts, and then you slide in the Franklin Covey spine with its uh, screw posts, and they fit through the holes. And uh, then you can screw the rings in, and then you have interchangeable rings. That's how I did it with uh, the last time that we upgraded rings. Another way you can do it, which I've seen a few people do, which is also awesome, and does not involve cutting into your binder or having a sacrificial binder. You just need to have some bigger rings. And you can buy rings if you call Franklin Covey and order some. You usually can't see it on their website. I've also seen rings for sale on eBay. Uh, sometimes it's uh, cheaper just to get a cheap used planner on eBay that has removable rings that you want and just take the rings from that binder. That's frankly how I tend to get mine because sometimes that's cheaper than just buying rings by themselves. All right. And uh, yeah, so then the other method is 
you, again, you rip out the rivets, take out the puny one inch rings, put in your inch and a quarter rings, and uh, you just hold them in with screws. And then the screw heads will be sticking up here, and then the posts will be sticking out a little bit inside, but they shouldn't get in the way. Um, those are two methods. Well, we did a method that was neither of those. You don't have to have a sacrificial binder. You're not going to have any screws showing on the outside, but you will be able to um, change your rings whenever you want very easily. And uh, so I videoed the process, and uh, I'm going to go edit that video and see if I can get that uploaded for you tomorrow or the next day or so and show you another way. Uh, this is a fabulous way, in my opinion, on how to get bigger rings in your daytime or Malibu. So anyways, this is my planner tour. I hope it helped you in some way. I hope it blessed you. And hello to uh, all my planner addicts out there. Uh, there's nothing, nothing like paper planning. Um, in fact, uh, we were eating in Subway today. We got some Subway after church. And I had gotten up my planner and was writing some things down. And this um, lovely elderly gentleman, who's in a nice suit, uh, he calls over and uh, he says, Hey, you know, I got a planner too. Is that a day timer? I'm like, Yeah, I got day timer and Franklin Cubby. And we were talking planners together. And he just thought it was so nice that a young person like me uh, was doing that. And that he has um, the bigger, the monarch, or the folio size, which is a full sheet of paper size. Um, so I think his eyesight, uh, he is an elderly gentleman, that the bigger size works for him. And he loves his. He has been doing Franklin Covey and Daytimer for years. Highly recommends it. And, uh, and he was just encouraging me, keep doing it. Well, there's no, no problem there. This, this, this is how my brain works. So uh, this is uh, definitely one of my lifetime obsessions.